without further ado, let's get started right away. I was once again sieging down the Byzantine Empire for peanuts. Maybe this time it'll go a little bit faster, since he is once again losing a civil war with a claim. But who knows how that will work out. We will have to wait and see. Talking about how will that work out? Three years until I can use mangonels. We have a new faction. The Croatian Catholics. Okay. Shouldn't be too big of a faction since Catholicism is getting kinda rare. Dux Julian, you're not better than any of my people already in the council. And you are awful except for your learning, so nope, none of you both will join my council for now. Okay, these were my perks. Have to remember a few things. Once again, a little bit out of a loop. Okay, I constructed Meadows and Cagliari. That means I can expand those. Hey Johnny, how you doing? I'm a tiny little bit under weather, I hope. It won't reflect in my gameplay too much. There's a new Pope. And the stats still aren't good enough for me to consider him in my council. Hmm. Okay, that's a worse outcome of the two, I think. Just one stewardship. Still better than nothing. New stuff built in Rome, okay. Rome has fully expanded. How is Napoli doing? Yep, that's why it has that name. But you'll get used to it. Once you have fallowed armor, stuff should get a lot easier. Okay, what should I build here? Let's build some manor houses. Since I do have the funds. And we can increase the pastoral lands in Siena. And that's it for now. Oh, something is in Siena. What was it? Ah, okay, it was here. Not in my own holding, so not as important. Okay, Wasco is growing. We can ransom a Baroness. I 
the House of Byzantine Empire holding up in their civil war. So far even worse than against me. So it will be interesting to see if they will even field an army against me or not. Okay, a faction disbanded, that's good. That's less military power threshold. By the way, uh, while I'm streaming, YouTube is... Um, is... Um, God damn it. Brain, please. Find the words. I uploaded um, the first part of this mega campaign on YouTube and uh, it will soon be available to view. I edited it, made a really bad thumbnail and uploaded it and now YouTube just has to check it and stuff. This has been sieged. Off to the next part. He is still losing. That's good for us. Five year old emperor. Who may be replaced with a. How old is Prince Leon? Oh, 23. So at least. Somewhat older, even though 23 is a good age to start having an empire. I really need better siege weapons so this org goes a little bit faster. Oh, can ask for more ransoms. Okay, we've converted another county. Let's continue with this part, since it might end the Catholic populist uprising. Who's attacking? Duke Kalman. Who's that? Of Tyrol. That's interesting. We've constructed Napoli. And Napoli has the full force of infrastructure I can do right now. But I guess, yes, Palermo can have more. Duchy of Tessali. That's down here. Not interesting right now, but maybe later. That's another conquest and more prisoners. Let's stay here for a minute. So I can regain some supplies. And this wall is actually making me richer once again. 
since I'm taking so many prisoners. Okay, that should be enough for now. More stuff built in Cagliari. Okay, Cagliari has been built up as well. Good, good. I'll actually have to hurry up a little bit. So that I win my war before the civil war ends. Because ideally... Um, I want the truce to be made with... Germanos the second, before he has to abdicate. Okay, I can sell more minor titles. So, despite the losses, I will storm this fort. Yeah, why not? I have the prestige, and if I have to pay a little prestige to get a better opinion, then why not? Okay, we will have peasant rebels soon. And in three port cities. Prisoners. Okay, I will go all in now to speed up my sieges. Because any truces are based on character instead of nation. Um, if I make a truce with him and he has to abdicate, there's no truce with a new emperor, and I can declare war once again right away without any penalties. Another perk. This, this will rain hell on my supply chain, but uh, speed is more important right now. Also, this peasant rebel has to be under control soon enough. Okay, 70%. Yeah, 90%, so I really have to speed up. Let's assault the fort once again. And continue going here. This fort is too large. So we will skip this one. Okay, what faction is that? Creation Orthodox Populists. That's a new one.
Goddammit. Well then. Onagers, two contingents of levies. And you guys will split up. You already have a destination. So let's split you. Oops. I actually made a small mistake here. You shall stay here. And you will get a random siege guy. And I'll have to split the troops even more. And this should be enough. Let's increase his taxes. Also, let's start Sending some troops around. So I can defend against the upcoming peasant uprising. And you go to Cagliari. And the other guys can stay here. Yep, still with this game. And it will be a while since we're still about 400 years away from the end of this game. Okay, he is sweet. That's good. Let's continue with my Chancellor. Yep. Hi, Lord. No. How are you? How did the new year start for you? I shall continue here. And also ransom some prisoners. Uh, pretty much the same. It was nice uh, since I invited a good friend over.
Oh, my sister is an adulteress. And has been imprisoned for it right away. Oh, he's out of money. He can't even pay me more ransom. That's a shame. How are my murder chances against him? Pretty low. For now, at least. County of Canavese. Okay, not really interesting to me. Rally the troops. Um, right, right now specifically in this game or in uh, the game of Crusader Kings overall? Okay, let's end this war first of all. Yeah, um... Tacitus. Eh, I don't need that. Um, right now, I took a little bit out of Serbia. I need Serbia to take the Unify Italy decision. The, which is one step further to um, actually becoming the new Roman Emperor. Losing this battle, that's not too good. Let's send in reinforcements. She was executed. Oh boy. Uh, let's host a feast. No, let's actually wait and see if we can't get a good metal break from that. Yes, we can. I gained athletic. Perfect. So let's see if we can't murder this guy. the chances, bribe some people to help me. Oh, 
Those were slightly more peasants than I anticipated. Um, I don't think this stream... Um, that niece. I'm not sure what you're talking about with the niece. I don't remember what happened with that. Okay, we'll have to wait until he's a little bit richer. It'll take him five years to, see, to siege down Rome. Uh, well, uh, my son rules over tu uh, Tunis. Other than that, uh, my other son got deposed and I'll probably disinherit him. So I don't have to split up my realm between those two. But only if I can't get him killed in battle first. My main heir does have sadly compassionate and Hashashia, but his stats are still good enough that he shall be my main heir. Okay, enough of this. Let's handle these damned peasants. He's a really good commander. I'll have to recruit him. Talking about people to recruit. Let's take a look at my prisoner list. They're all in house arrest. And they're all women. So no force recruitment for now. Well, he can be glad uh, I just plan to disinherit since I could do way worse things to him. Okay, let's disband everyone. Bad omen for him. Okay, I recruited that guy. And now we will once again speed up the whole process. Until I can declare my next war against the Byzantine Empire. After all... I still have some claims in Serbia. Yeah. 
is this part of Serbia. No, it isn't. Okay, so I have just one more claim, then I'll have to make up some new claims. Okay, as soon as you're done there, I will send you to fabricate some claims I can use. Okay, the Pope invites me to a feast, even though he doesn't like me. He, like, really doesn't like me. You mean here? That means that there's an internal war between my vessels going on there. I could intervene, but I don't really care. Interesting. I got roped into a war. Because one of my vessels conquered Innsbruck. And Innsbruck is under claim. Someone else? Drunk? I'm not really drunk. Oh, we have a new duke, but his stats aren't convincing me. Okay, the Duke of Tyrol is attacking me, and for whatever reason, I am allied with the King of Burgundy in this war. Uh, it maybe was a few characters ago. Let me see. Uh, two characters ago. That was a drunkard. So, my grandfather. The grandfather of the current character was... The drunkard. <laughs> yeah. I mean... Um, we are the defenders, so... He attacked us. The Duke of Tyrol attacked us for some reason. Yeah. You might have missed a few streams, sir. Uh. Also... Let me sway... My spy master a little bit. It's never bad if your spy master likes you. Let's get a siege master for this. <laughs> well, I am now the strongest force in the game, so... I think you can become a little conceited if you manage to dethrone the Byzantine Empire and become the strongest emperor in the world. Oh, and let's ransom you. I 
can then send you guys here, but with a different leader. We need a supply expert. Here we go. Okay, I ransomed him. Let's bleed him for a little bit more money before we end this war. And also regain control of Cagliari after the peasant uprising. After all, we want no silver from the mines to disappear. Oh. I was just about to say, won't you ransom some more people? Let's ransom his wife. And then let him surrender. And he even had to pay some reparations. Perfect. Now, the problem is that the Byzantine Emperor isn't dead yet. Our assassination attempt failed, sadly. So we will have to try again. Do we have any other... Could declare war on you, but only for Tripoli. Uh, do no more what is than what is necessary, since my health is excellent, even if I'm lying in bed ill. Okay, I've built farm estates in Palermo. Let's keep building those up. Okay, we are now even harder to siege down. By the way, all of this land that you see in the blue outline, that's outside of my de jure territory, hasn't been conquered by me, but instead my... Um, my vassals kept conquering opportunistically, and since they are my vassals, that lands... Those lands uh, also belong to me. Uh, maybe. Yep. As soon as you're strong enough and you have really strong vassals, they begin expanding your empire for you. I'm actually only concerned about Serbia. But those guys are taking some Alpine land for me. Also, sadly, we've completely lost uh, East Frank here. So it's highly unlike unlikely that there will be a Holy Roman Empire in this alternate history. Uh, yeah, sure. Come on, murder plot. Keep going. Oh, what's that? Nope, I want you to pay the full ransom, not just partially. I am greedy like that. And we finally have mangonels. Let's go for Household Soldiers next. Okay, I need to replace... Let's grab all onages. And instead employ mangonels. We will have to see if uh, I can uh, get the Unify Italy decision this game, since it's really hard taking those tiny nibbles out of Serbia. Since I have to justify all my wars to take everything. 
so that will already take quite a while. And then I also have to take some key cities for the decision to declare myself uh, the, the emperor of a new Rome. Okay, someone wants to murder a random person. Why should I care? Let's give the murder scheme some progress. That was almost a sneeze. Sorry for that. Okay, I imprisoned her and now... Oh. Can ransom her at least for some money. How is the upgrade of my siege weapons going? Oh, come on! We are almost done. Now I have to bribe more people. Thirty-four... Fifty-six... Seventy-eight... And that's everyone I can bribe, it looks like. No, I can also bribe you. Anyone else? Nope. 68% is all we can get. Count of München? No! Don't want to ally with you. Why should I? You're a count. I'm an emperor. Let's see how unlucky we can get. Hey, we actually managed to kill him. Now, I will wait a little bit for my mangonels to finish. By the way, what county are we declaring war for next? Machua? Machua? I think it's pronounced. I'm not sure though. Uh, let's try to get Duclia. So let's fabricate a claim here. <laughs> Valachia, yeah. And it's even a carnet. Somehow. Things can go weird in this game. Okay, in five months we will declare war again. How am I doing? My health is still great despite being bedridden. Let's invest into my cities a little bit more.
Okay, that's done. Now I'll wait for my... Siege engines to be built. Eastern Europe is... quite the mess. I don't think I've ever seen it this messy. And it's not even my fault. It's all the... AI doing that. Okay, what can I get? Hmm. Where is that? Uh, Rome. Let's try this. Yep. And my son has become my friend. Excellent. And I've lost my illness. Yep. Look at that. How did it become like that? It's high time that I become Roman and take over the world and give it some order. Because I really can't what can't watch that. Finally, I can ransom you, since your husband has the money. And there's a six-year-old on the throne. I've killed so many emperors, that they have to put toddlers and children on the throne. Excuse me for just a second. Yep, pretty much. Someone has to fix it. Hey, Hungary fixed it its borders a little bit. Finally, Hungary was a mess too before this. Probably due to a civil war. Also, once again, the Byzantine Empire seems to be fleeing across the Black Sea from all my attacks. And now a ransom. Okay. Didn't even know. Didn't even remember I had her in my presence, so... Sure. Money is better than having a random person in your prison. Siena will still take quite a while. Until I can build a university. Oh, I almost forgot. My mangonels are ready. So, let's conquer... ...this. You have to ask them. I actually have no idea what their reasoning is. Let's actually raise my army with the auto um, the automatic um, Dividing. So I don't have to worry about supplies. Also, it seems all my siege experts are gone. 
Ave, Ave. Here you are. I want you commanding my siege engines. Okay, you guys, the light footmen will stay here since they are expensive. Good night, long no dude. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you want to uh, view this fully, I started uploading the first episode today. And once again, what happened here? Title is re. Oh, she surrendered to a faction without a war. Okay. Um, on YouTube, actually. Uh, if you type exclamation mark YouTube, I haven't updated the exclamation mark. But um, it leads to one video and you can see my channel from that. Uh, episode 1 should go up soon. Currently, YouTube is processing it. I uploaded it, but YouTube hasn't released it yet. Excellent. See ya. Okay, we got that. Let's see if you're competent enough for a claim on a duchy. Let's make you diligent. Oh, I completely forgot. Um, hostile. Excellent. All of Duxia will be mine. Let's convert faith. It'll only take three years, so. That will be two wars, I guess. Two of six. So yeah, I can... Usurp Serbia soonish. Maybe this stream. If I hurry up a little bit. That's mine. I captured Melinka. But she's not worth anything, sadly. So instead I will continue north. By the way, sorry for the sniffles if you can hear them. My nose is really stuffed today for some reason. Higher and levy reinforcement rates. Can't go wrong with that as well. Hey, 
Hey, we are now in the high medieval era. So I can switch over to banking. Wait. Let's go back to my Chancellor. How strong are you? And are you busy in another war? Yes, you are. She looks older than 17. Years have not been kind to her. has gained guidance. That's nice. Man, <laughs> despite my huge realm, most of my income is still coming from my own domains because I've built them up like crazy. Sell more minor titles for even more money. Oh, even more money. Getting really wealthy. It's high time that a new DLC comes out, where I've already seen in the dev diaries that you'll have a lot more opportunities to actually spend all your gold. Pyros. Ah, okay, that's. In Epirus. Not interesting right now, but it will be interesting later. Ah. That's a shame. Keep trying. Palermo. And Palermo has been fully built up as well. Well then. I am getting obscenely wealthy. And I'm not even sure where, where to spend all that wealth. Could get more development growth here. a good thing also here where I really really need it also in Bologna which is good just wish that your vessels would be actually 
thankful um, if you invest into their holdings. But sadly, it doesn't give you any bonus at all. Except for the indirect bonuses you get from your vessels getting stronger. All that will change in the next game, Eu uh, Europa Universalis, when we get to the middle of the 15th century. Since in that game you control your realm a lot more directly. But it gets a lot more complicated and I'm not yet anything you could call good in that game. So, guess that'll be fun. Ulm. Ulm is somewhat of a meme in Paradox games. Since it's one of the weakest places you can start in. So many people uh, make it a challenge to start a world conque conquest as Ulm. That's another siege one. No ransoms this time though. Oh, what was that? How much more do we need? All this area in in a white outline here. That's what we need for the next step of our empire. Oh yeah, and blood mules get a lot, lot worse in hard mode. So that's also gonna be fun. Holy war, holy war. Don't really care. Only civil wars really interest me. Other wars are just a distraction for them so I can siege them down without any Uh, resistance. That's a new ransom I can enforce. Oh, household soldiers. Let's double our amount of siege weapons. And then invest into those guys as well. And finally, I had something to invest all my vast wealth into. Next up, my cultural exposure is to a military sphere, and I'm still um, focused on researching banking. You, Kalman, lost against my vassal who now also controls Lienz. Well then, the realm grows without any of my help.
and I lost more stress. Paranoid, ambitious. Let's make you ambitious. And peasant rebel again. You guys are getting on my nerves a little bit. To be completely honest. Siege one. Let's speed this up once again. Hey, I can host another grand, right? That's really, really good. Another stewardship perk. Yes, please. Okay, this should cause less peasant uprisings. is extremely useful. Okay. I can try to gain more money. Uh, how about some um, tyranny? Since that is currently not really an issue. Oh, God damn it. Well, this was a fool's errand. So, let's instead wait for the peasant uprising. only for this stuff but at least I can get the Dutch here too clear how long until the uprising seven months let's wait for that Oh, you can pay the full ransom. Well then, here you go. Okay, 
always has maximum expansion now. No, oh, the peasant rebel has disbanded. All the better. That means I can declare war on the Byzantines again. Hopefully with no stupid shenanigans this time. As I claim another duchy from them. Oh, wait, actually. I wanted to do it like this. Siege expert over here. Let's keep my horsemen out of this. here instead. So, my stewardship has also paid off helping my war effort, since it stopped all those pesky uprisings. So I can concentrate on the wars that actually matter. And also complete those a lot faster. We still have a Liberty Faction. And in October I want to increase my Crown Authority before that happens. The Meteos has been swayed. Let's sway my Patriarch. Oh, let's actually go here first. Also, more ransoms are available. Once again, I'm getting obscenely rich, even though I've paid so much gold to increase my army. No, oh, you finished with that. So, let's try to get the Duchy of Rashka next. Huh, you were a decent fighter. move most of you guys to house arrest so you don't die in vain. Interesting how so many uh, in this area are wearing smurf hats. 
not sure if those were traditional around that time in the Balkans. But they do look like smurf hats. Sorry if that insults any Serbians that may or may not be watching. You guys are done once again. Actually, let's not interfere in their civil war. Go the other way around instead. After all, I'm interested in this territory. How much more do I need for Serbia? Four counties, and I will gain three in this war. So in two wars I can take Serbia, that will enable me to uh, get claims on the rest of Serbia. And speed up this whole process. White piece, why should I? There is no reason at all. I am winning. Let's do that elsewhere too. For example, in Galuria, which for some reason has gone really out of control recently. Hey, a Serbian army. Will they defend their own lands? Probably not, since. The AI is not programmed well enough for that. Can I go here directly? Yep, I can. But this is on the way, so... Let's take this one, after all, with 160 mangonels. Conquering has become a breeze compared to what it was before. Okay, banking in 24 years and a military sphere in 6 years. Which will also speed up all this stuff. Excellent. Oh wait, what are my duchies again? Just Sathlumia. Okay. Oh. You there. Stop that. completely lost sight of you. Now because of your bullshit I have to reclaim that. Ah, sadistic is a sin. So let's make him paranoid instead, which is also not too good. Eh. Pest and cholera, as the saying goes. Okay, I've officially gained more faith. 
or another level of faith. To be precise. Liberty War, okay. Whatever. Okay, you reconquered. That's good. Let's merge the armies, give them a supply expert. If I have one. But it doesn't look like it, sadly. Oh, well, that's a shame. But at least I have a marching expert. Which is also decent. And the war is about to end anyway. Darsia and two others. Who are the others? Again, women. And they are already in house arrest. Women will only become really useful once I can reform or once I can form my own sect which views them as equal or at least somewhat equal okay you won that so now you only have me to worry about Here comes the Byzantine army. And I got a claim on all of Rashka. So... Mashva next. And my pronunciations are awful, I know. Okay, all you guys seem to be pretty useless. Let's move you to house arrest. you with this guy and then go hunting some Byzantines who are trying to reclaim their lands but we can't have that here using their cataphracts for a change. And that was seemingly enough. Lost demands. Disband armies. Murderize this guy. in some accomplices. Let's 
see if this is enough. That upset my peasants once again, but it gave me a stewardship perk, so totally worth it. Okay, we are at maximum assassination charms, so let's keep this going. Check on my cities again. Cities are doing well. Good, good. That means we will just have to wait for something to happen. How is my health? Still excellent. So I don't have to worry about losing my empire. Oh. Sadly, Belisarius died. him give a new guy all the other jobs you are extremely wealthy my friend like it's not even funny how much money you have but well you are the holder of all church holdings of my empire so yeah that's very, very worthwhile. Meanwhile, the northern expansion is still going from my vessel wars. God damn it. That means I have to invest even more money. 35. We're just making it more expensive to kill you. Okay, my brother in law died. Who is the most powerful guy in East Francia? That's not a king by himself. Looks like Curetia. Who has only daughters? Eh. Duke Sigismund, my grandson, who is in Nordgau? Interesting. So, one of my grandsons randomly became a duke. Uh, no. Let's not put the plot at more risk than it already is. And I'm attending another feast. Uh, 
friendship. Yeah, let's try befriending her. Farewell, my friend. Well, that's kind of a suboptimal betrothal, but it's not too bad, at least. You may die before me. I may survive my own son. Interesting. Finally. We can declare war on a two-year-old. Hooray. Yeah. Go away, Steam notifications. Okay. Where is the siege guy? Him because we need a siege guy with siege engines. Also, where are the other siege, en siege engines? Here they are. Sometimes the automatic organization is not very organized. Also, what the hell is this obsession with the name Remus. I am Remus, my son is Remus, and his son is Remus. Come on. Okay, he got more opinion of me. And we will keep trying. Yep, kinda. But also I think it's because uh, Roman is not a very uh, extensive culture in this game. And since most names depend on culture... Uh, it probably keeps rolling one of a few Roman names it has saved, which is Remus. Hey, my dynasty is well known now. It's about time. After all, we control the strongest empire in the game. Okay. That's under our control. Try 
to get a lost tome. Excellent. My son can get a hook on me, but let's not complicate things. So, you guys want to fight. I can arrange that. Can I convert you? Eh, not worth it. Household savings. It's not like <laughs> my savings are large enough. I have 9,000 gold. I don't even know where I should invest all that. Let me check my developing cities again. I can put any investment into those. Nope. I'll have to research new technology to improve my infrastructure for even more money. County of Fürstenberg. Get all kinds of claims. Okay, I can move you to house arrest. And cousin Pavlos. Uh, how strong are my knights? Probably really strong. Yep. Really, really strong. Guys are already losing, and I'm still sending in reinforcements. Uh, you are screwed. Okay, I can work off some stress again. Not bad. It would be of any importance. that much to be honest. That was one wipeout movi movement which gave me very little war score for what it was. Oh. Okay. Uh, just pay me some money. Oh, 
Oh boy, that's the remainder of the Byzantine army. them a little bit. <laughs> Not the worst idea. Of education. But hey. My patriarch. Marshal. Oops, I made everything worse, as one tends to do. See if I have fixed my supply chain. Which, as far as I know, supply chains are at least somewhat of a feature in every Paradox Grand strategy now, except for Stellaris. So, you can't just doomstack your units anymore, and just send everything in and not worry about it. You actually have to take care that your units don't... over... Uh, over exert. Oh. I can hunt a whale. Let's try it. No. I messed up. This feels like like XCOM, which is funny because uh, for the first time for a long time I played XCOM today. The first, uh, the first one of a reboot. So with 2012 XCOM. Okay, you must wait. Let's try to make up with my marshal. Since he really didn't like me messing up. Negotiations. Murder Helene. Why are people trying to murder my guests? And I have over 10,000 gold. And I'm not sure if I have anywhere to invest them. I hope you didn't hear that. 
That was very loud stomach sounds. Also, I captured a random guest of someone else. These cities are fully expanded. This one is still building. So is this one. What about this city? Is It's fully expanded. So yeah, no worthwhile investments. Uh, let's take Baro Julius. I can invest. It's not like I'm low on any resource except for maybe piety and renown. And I don't really need piety. Since I have nowhere to really use it right now. I'd like to win this war a little bit faster, please. Uh, still missing a few percent. So let's take easy pickings, which should be enough. Just conquer a random barony. And it's enough. The only thing is that I'm having too many duchy titles now. Let's see if I can give my son another duchy. Could give him Saglumia. So let's do exactly that. And I have new towns to invest in. Can I build anything better here? For example... Pastoral lands. That sounds good. What about here? I think... You are already fully... So let's. Oh, the Greek don't have castles. Don't know how they are so primitive, but apparently they are. And I can declare. Nope, I can't yet because you idiot are in a war. So, speed up with your strange war thing. So I can usurp your kingdom. 
pay me. Ransoms, of course. Gladly. By the way, while we are here, let's build some new cities. And can we usurp now? Why aren't you ending your war? Finally. Yeah, yeah. You can have that one back as well. And in return, I will take Serbia. I completely forgot to try to kill you. How hard can it be to murder a three-year-old? And a kindly ugly three-year-old on top of that. Oops. I clicked into another window again. Got lost. Oh, let's pay the money. That's why I got so little piety, because I never went on a pilgrimage. That, of course, explains it. Okay, I have claims on... Oh. Okay. That, of course, makes this a lot easier. Okay, do I need Samia or Majva? I need Majva. Yep, and only Majva. Perfect. Byzantine Empire. Get ready for another pointless war. Peasant rebel, Slati in Slatibor. Where is Slatibor? Here. Okay, who has my siege expert? This army. And for a change, actually has a reason to be a siege expert. Okay. Which one are you? That one. Let's leave the pikemen here. Um, which one was it again? This one. You go here. And you also go here. Okay. 
get foreign guards. Oh, divine protection. Let's get divine protection. Oh, a friend died. That, of course, will cause more stress. And I attacked in winter. Which is suboptimal. Well, the British Isles are a mess as well. So is Brittany itself. Good lord. It's high time to impose some Roman order on the world. Still have a little bit under 400 years to do that. But also in a, in about 200 years we will have to deal with a Mongolian invasion. Which also will be interesting. If I even reach us. How is my Patriarch doing in Rama? Takes really, really long. Some random part of my family became a witch as well. So, unless something really, really bad happens, this dream will be the one where we finally unify Italy. Why do you need Serbia to unify Italy? Don't ask me, ask the developers. Ah, crap. Yosno under siege. Oh. Hey there. Have you tried dying? Huh. My grandson became a count. Why not? You, on the other hand, look younger when, than 16. But who am I to judge? Oh, two advantage. That's really good. Really hard to gain advantage. Oh, something new. Okay, 
I used all skill checks. Let's see. I can gain new stone masons. Which isn't really important, but eh. Why not? There's nothing I can invest in. Ah, that's a shame. Well, I messed up some skill checks, but at least it gave me 10 relationship. Hey, Napoli has cooperative stonemasons. Not that I need in any shape, way or form, but it's something. Away, oh, my son. Who are you at war with again? County of Bresse. Ah, you got roped into that. Oh, I took Biograd. And I captured Nicodemus. And I got ill again. Okay, Nicodemus. It's very likely I'll become a great grandfather in my lifetime. That one. One away from everything. Okay, I send you here, and you can go. Just go here. By the way, are you at war with anyone else? Nope, just me. So I'll actually have to pay some attention to where you might land. Another perk. Let's go this path first. Latibo has pastures. Oh, by the way. Which of these counties has corruption? Like you have some corruption. Let's try to stamp it out.
Interesting. You will retreat while you guys take on the Byzantine forces. lost Let's be generous. After all, I do have the funds for it. Why not make up for all the murderizing with a little church donation? And that looks like it was the entire Byzantine army. But I just wiped out Valerios. Not sure why I captured you. But whatever. I don't feel like reorganizing my armies again, so let's go all in on the attack. Decimus isn't my son. Don't have to disinherit him. child one time that I actually want my wife to cheat on me and I'm healthy again very good. Even though the years are taking the toll slowly. Well, I'll actually ransom you. You know what? One random knight try to attack my 24,000 troops. Oh. I can ransom more people.
Baron's left go. Congratulations, Byzantine Emperor. You lost your entire army trying to keep me from conquering the rest of lands that I need for now. Galicia, Volhynia. Where is that? That's here. Interesting kingdom. And finally, the Italian Empire. Ever since the fall of the Western Empire, the Italian peninsula has been fractured between rebellious city states, greedy bishops, and barbarian conquerors. Yet, under my dynasty's rule, Italy has set aside petty infighting and made itself whole once again. Resurging as a dominant power in the West, no longer will we be a prize to be contended between Franks and Greeks, or be brutalized by pirates and barbarian pretenders. From this day forward, we retake our place as true heirs of the Roman Empire. Now, let's see if that actually worked. If I get the better pikemen or not. And sadly, I don't. And funnily enough, it's the Italians that get... ...the new... ...that get the research boost. That's interesting. Yep. It's the Italian culture, so... <laughs> interesting. But, the good thing is, that will give me exposure to the Italian culture. Which is actually really helpful. Okay, County of Serum. You have claims over here. Where do you have a claim? Over here. How did my grandson get a claim in Olesia? Huh. Weird, but okay. Well then, we need a new goal. Which is to retake all these duchies. Which will be kind of difficult. Could try to go through Egypt this way. But that will take far too long. So, now I'm not entirely sure what to do next. Since my patriarch is still busy. Being pretty awful. Uh, Baro Julius is sweet, that's good. And the Novo Trogovice. Oviste. If I read that right, not entirely sure. I've built stuff. How is our progress here? Now we're getting closer to 
actually getting a university. Um, I can declare new wars. I can declare against Aquitaine, against Hungary. I don't really want all of that. Let's see if that actually can help us if we declare war on Egypt. Possibly I'm not too familiar with Italian... Uh, History. Not sure. I know that Italia basically wanted what is today's. Um, most of what is today's Croatia after the First World War. But I don't know about Serbia, to be honest. Okay. Wait, let's first see if we don't have a peasant rebel. 28 months in Slatibor. Uh, then let's not do that. Let's have Slatibor. Recover first. Okay, we are getting horseshoes. That's good. And we are researching banking. If my health deteriorates further, I will disinherit my second son. Oh okay, wait, since we have nothing else to do... Now, well, let's disrupt schemes, so... No one tries to kill me. Um, it's kind of a mix, but it is... it's very RPG. Okay, you are trying to kill me for some reason. Good thing I am... Actually... Disrupting schemes. Um, yeah, it's... Basically... The actual focus is you do play characters, not really the countries themselves. But you can employ a lot of strategy to actually win the wars that your characters make. Oh, you hate me a lot. Why? High taxes, lots of war. Uh, you want a duchy? Yeah. Whatever. Okay, Slutty so Bar has, has been expanded. Someone's in jail now. You learned your lesson. Okay. And that's interesting to me because... Who were you? Yep. Uh, those drapes I recently got. Mm, so there's a military loyalty. Uh, yeah, become more susceptible to dread. Um, yeah, those drapes I got, I'm... Um, not entirely sure, but they might be part of a murder plot against me. So I will stack, stay careful. Am 
My rivals seem to die a lot. And for a change, it's not me that's doing that. So, I have no idea why they're dying like flies. Maybe having the most powerful emperor in the world as your enemy is a little bit too stressful. Go, go, Byzantines. Uh, they might have difficulties with that. I already reunited Italy. Oh, and I built a lot of stuff. So let me take care of that. Let's start off with some quarries. And more quarries. Give me a second. <laughs> City and here we will construct monasteries. Pristina already has a lot of stuff. It's fine with me, but quarries are always good. Oh, I can ask my head of faith for gold, even though I'm so rich. Interesting. Can imprison a baron. Okay. <laughs> exactly. I do like to do that. Okay, let's once again let's wait for this peasant uprising in Slatibor. I've already put my marker there. So I can raise my armies. Are you pregnant? No, you aren't. So let's ransom you right away. You don't have the money to pay me. So let's wait with that. You've increased control, that's good. Okay. Where is the control lower? Definitely here. And go, go. By the way, um, something interesting happened. Since I'm of Roman culture and I reunified Italy, um, that event gives the Italian culture um, the tech boost instead. So now uh, the Italian culture has a lot of interesting new techs that I gave them. And also, because I um, strengthened the Sicilian government before I had all of uh, Sicily, I'm Roman this time. With a change of pace to fully roleplay that Roman uh, resurgence. So, uh, Sicily got split up into Naples and Trinacria. Nope, the Romans don't get the boost. Only the Italians. So now, even with the re reunified Italy, I didn't get uh, all of Sicily. De jure. So yeah, that was interesting. So it's already somewhat di diverging from our multiplayer game. Give me a second, my stuff. Yep, I definitely am. I beat down the Byzantines so hard.
We can't really re recover. And also we have a lot of civil wars once again. Because the Emperor is always weakened from me. Um, but the good thing is... Oh. <laughs> the Byzantine Emperor has been excommunicated. That's interesting. Does that mean we can murder him easier? Since more people will help us. Yep, it does. Cool. Um, I still get an indirect tech boost because um, the Italian culture will uh, cause... Um, Uh, exposure to my culture. So I will research the innovations faster. At least. So that's something, I guess. Living grounds in Rashka. That's here. And I can't expand it any more than that. Yep, so it's something. Burgundy expanded. Also, look at this mess. And I actually tried to help East Frankia survive. Um, yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, the external hard drive that I got actually allowed me to start editing some videos. So, I uploaded the first one on YouTube, but I'm not sure if YouTube already processed it, since that can take a long time. Yep. This is a huge mess, and I tried to help fix it, but my allies really were incompetent and didn't even ask for my help. So, now this random kingdom of Volpe that no one needs and has no de jure territory reigns supreme in Germany. Who is blackmailing me? Um... No? I don't care if you expose me as a witch. That actually gives me a full bonus of witch. Ah, that's good. Also, I made a really, really bad thumbnail. I will fix it when... I get... The muse for that. Um, not really. I watched videos of that game and it doesn't look really like my kind of game. Oh, that's good. Thank you for the sub on YouTube. Okay, um, seven months, okay. Let's sell some more minor titles. Yay! Ten subs. Um, you are my player heir, so... No thanks. You can keep your gold. Six months. When reaches two months, I will raise my troops. <laughs> New video soon, trademark. Don't expect much from the upload to YouTube, but I hear my vessel, so 
I will actually release you for a favor. So I can increase the taxes you pay me. And your obligations have been changed before. Don't know how, but... Well then, I will just demand... Oh, no, I can't. Well then. Uh, if I actually can think of a trick, gladly. Oh, I can declare war on you again. This means you will be deposed. Duchy of Cappadocia. I don't need that. Nicodemus. Optimatoi. Nope. Last year, also nope, so I will just take Silarem. Actually, no, I won't, because I'm still waiting for this peasant rebel. Yeah, if I can think of another interesting trick, I will do that. Until then, I will upload the full streams. And uh, maybe there will be people uh, similar to me that like to watch those in the background. Oh, learning lifestyle. Yes, please. And let's go for scientific. Um, that's something I actually did a few times when I do something I don't really need too much con concentration for. I'll just put up a really long but somewhat interesting video in a, on a second monitor and watch it. Well, someone is at war with everyone. GTA speedruns don't imagine that to be a great game for speedruns to be honest there we go So, story only. Yeah, that's possible, but still, there's so much that can go wrong. Well, that's in every speedrun, but... <laughs> True 100% in GTAs. Ah, someone became Greek, that's okay with me. Because Greek will be the first accepted culture once my, uh, once we knew DLC. Think before you talk. Once the new DLC comes out and you can accept new cultures, that one will be the first. Okay, you're not even really good, so I will keep you in my. 
prison for now. Oh yeah, those uh, stories. There's also Liberty City stories and I think also San Andreas stories. Okay. Let's see Serum since we don't have anything else to do. Yeah, possibly. Also, Peace Walker never came out for the PC, so... Um. Yeah, sure. Let's do it like this. Me neither, since I don't have a PSP. And never had one. Okay, where are my siege engines? Here they are. Where is my siege master? Here. So, you will take this, you will go here, and you will go here. Yeah, the only console I ever actually owned and didn't just borrow um, was a game, uh, or still is, a Game Boy. The original one. That I got at a really young age. Everyone's still trying to murder the Byzantine Emperor. And now I'm conquering something I don't even really need. Now Padua is peasant rebel. Man, man, man. A claim on Liege. Or Liege. Actually not... Or it might be even Liege in Luxembourg. Kingdom of Lotharingia. Huh. Oh, but not now. We have Roman things to do for now, not German things. Yeah, Lotharingia. One of a few surviving Carling kingdoms, and then not even Carling anymore. Are you still Carling? Nope. Are you Carling? Haus Franken. That's actually interesting. Saint Gilles. Burgundy is still Carling. Hey, we found something. I'm not 100% sure if my Game Boy still works as well. Okay. How did you become Bavarian? That's rather unusual. Let's speed this up once again. And we 
have more people to ransom. What other wars do you have? Claim on the Byzantine Empire, Liberty. What well, claim on the Byzantine Empire could be interesting for us. We are still trying to murder you, but eh. And he lost the Liberty War already. That doesn't build well for his other wars. I mean, if you have nothing else to do, bullying Byzantines is always something you can spend your time with. I can work off some stress. Do I need to? Nope. I actually don't. I am at zero stress. Also, how is my health doing? Still fine. Excellent. And I can host a grand right. Let's do that. Mm, what should I do? Let's read from an ancient grimoire. Get a stewardship perk. Or less likely to get independence factions. At all, the only one is Leibniz, which isn't even part of the Euro part of my empire. Yep, that's why you want to be independent. not like you can enforce it in any way, shape or form, but... Nope. No murdering today. Alright. See ya. Thanks for tuning in. Name. And I hope we can do something together soon, again. Extorted vessels, that's good. Wait, you used to be... The King of Serbia, yep. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot. Absolute Crown Authority. Um, not in this game so much as in the next game. Europa Universalis actually uh, has friends during all the revolutions. Um, this one mostly has the issue that uh, France is um, not really that united. So it is nominally united, but it uh, it consists of two kingdoms under one crown. So it is very likely to split up. So it's less revolutions and more uh, your empire falling or your kingdom falling apart into several parts since uh, France actually consists of four different kingdoms. Hey Alec, welcome. Already missed a little bit, but uh, we actually have reunified Italy. Which had some weird consequences, since I played it differently than usual. For example, uh, the island of Sicily has not become the Euro part, since I had split up into Naples and Trinacria. And uh, since we are Roman, we didn't get the tech boost. It, instead, the Italian culture did get the tech boost. 
which is no problem since we gain uh, exposure to Italian innovations, which will uh, make our innovations uh, be researched way faster. So we did gain something from it anyway. But yeah, I'm taking the last the Euro County just because I had nothing else to do. Okay, Baronessa. Also, I have uploaded, uh, finally uploaded the first part of this playthrough on YouTube. If you want to uh, see it later, you can enter exclamation mark YouTube. Yeah, um, what I wanted to show Johnny, yeah, uh, France actually split up into Brittany, West Francia, Aquitaine and Burgundy. But if you have all that, you can unite them into an empire. But that's a lot of work you have to do first. And if you, also, if you play France in a later part of the game, there's a scripted event that you, you will lose Normandy to William the Conqueror. So that's also difficult. Okay. More stuff. Actually, let's remove the notifications from this. Don't really need it. <coughs> okay, I will send you to Rashka again. Don't really care what other wars I can declare. How is our innovation going? Such a lust for revenge! Oh! Hey! Editor, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, welcome, raiders. The game has just calmed down a lot, but... I'll actually have to consider what to do next. Hello! That's the best impression of a mind turtle I could do. Um, Gradak, where is that? That's here. Let's build some more quarries. And some guilds. And finally, some pastoral lands. Here we will have pastoral lands and more guilds welcome welcome raiders how are you guys doing how was your stream sorry I missed it but uh, this was scheduled for a while and I usually do this on Mondays now Everything here is built. We can continue with our conquests. Taking more and more bites out of the Byzantine Empire. And finally, you are done. I want Byzantium itself. Hey, is it finished fully? Or is it just partially working? Marriage. Who are you guys? And King Arzik of Volpe. Actually, no, I don't want you two to marry. Ah, cool, cool. Uh. Sure, whatever. It's 
not like I'll have any impact on this war whatsoever, but... Um... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe. We will wait and see how it goes. Hide and seek. Um... What do you mean, Alec? Uh, do you mean how I prevent them from uh, rebelling against me? Ah, um... Mostly there are two ways. Either, um... The best thing you can do, of course, is being way stronger than your vassals. And basically there are two ways. One thing is diplomacy, so you make them like you. This is a bad example. But for example, uh, Dutch of Pisa also no, also no, uh, they all don't like me. Probably because I have too many wars. Here, this one likes me. So you can make them like you through swaying or giving them gold or anything. Uh, do that. Give Sol and Luna pets for me. Um, and the other way is to gain dread through events, torturing people in your prisons, executing people in your prison. But the most important thing is to um, that your royal army is stronger than your vassals armies. So, if your vassals are getting a bit too strong, try to not expand too much and concentrate on your own holdings a little bit more. So, uh, you can outperform them. I need a new spy master. Anyone competent? Only you. Well then. And I need to make you like me. That's the most important thing, because if your spy master doesn't like you, that's never a good thing. Let's give those to him. How are his civil wars going? He is losing them. Eee. Yeah, Titanian armor should help a lot. If you now get uh, Titanium level weaponry, you can actually start uh, the first hard mode bosses. Nope, still no. It's unnecessary to kill the Emperor right now. As much as killing the Byzantine Emperor is on brand for me, I will not do that right now. Let's speed it up a little. There's nothing happening except for the siege. Uh, armies lacking provisions. Yep, that's good. Let's actually sabotage the Byzantines a little bit by destroying their supplies. How much longer will this take? Three years. Uh, let's see. They all don't have enough money to pay me. Even though I'm already way too rich, you can never have enough. Oh, your wife died. Let's find you a new one. Mm. 
Is Night Edge the stronger one? I don't really remember. I can't tell you, ask Whiny. He is... He played that game more recently when, than I did. Um, let's marry you two guys together. Strongest free hard mode. That actually doesn't mean that much. Because hard mode is... You should see... Uh, maybe get... I'd say maybe get the Titanium Spear. Spears are pretty decent against many hard mode, uh, early hard mode bosses. Okay, my troops are dying from starvation since it's winter. Still not time yet to kill the Byzantine Emperor. Okay, you joined as an agent. Yeah, Trident. But it's categorized as a spear, so. You could, of course, also go for... Does Titanium already have a gun? I'm not sure. Or the bow. Um... Thing is, this is... Uh, conceptualized as a mega campaign. That means I will play until this game has it n its natural end. Which is uh, 1453. A repeating crossbow is also. Uh, I like to use the repeating crossbow when I play it. Um, back to the topic. Uh, this game ends in 1453. Then I will use a safe converter, which uh, takes as much information as possible out of the final save game and convert it into a Europa Universalis mod where I can keep playing uh, as closely as possible to what the end state of this game was. And then I plan to do the same converting um, the final save game of EO4 to Victoria 3 and that one to Hearts of Iron 4. Of course, only if uh, I don't get so extreme that any co further conversions would be boring. So yeah, I plan to make new goals all the time. Current goal is to uh, become the Roman Emperor. And after that, uh, there'll be several small goals for what I want to conquer, uh, for certain bonuses. Haha, <laughs> thanks. Alec. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, uh, King Henri con conquered some stuff of the Provence. I took a Duke prisoner. That means a hundred gold for me. You can finally pay your own ransom. And I guess 
I will let these guys resupply for a while. Before I continue my sieges deeper into Byzantine territory. That was a little bit of lag. But yeah, um, what I told you before, give me a second. I will show you. This link leads to my uh, to a trick video on CK3 I did a while ago. Um, but you can also use the link to um, access my channel and see my upload of part one of this mega campaign, where I started off as a small count of uh, in Sardinia and had to endure a lot of different hardships being such a small realm but we endured and look where we are now oops I skipped a barony so I should go back and conquer that one Oh, Byzantine army. Let's make them regret coming here. Taltoists formed a holy order. That's interesting. regain some supplies before we continue our conquest. I mean, I might already win this war just by defeating the Byzantine army in battle. That may demoralize them enough. So uh, I started where uh, the actual game began, not in a character creation, but uh, you can see um, my character create. Uh, what kind of character I'm playing by paying attention? Otherwise, <laughs> yeah, I was already pretty far in. I think I was already. Yeah, I'm. Pretty sure I was already Emperor when you joined. I have to see, I think I've lost one episode, but it's a later episode, so it won't matter at, as much. Okay, you're done. Finish over here. Oh, you've finished building. Let's do some guilds. And over here, let's do hill farms. And I've already built everything I wanted there. How far is Siena? Just two more development levels and I can finally build a university. Yeah. I messed up somewhere along the way and lost. I think it's episode 7. So I will have to make do without it. Oh, should we kill the Emperor? Who is this? Just the 
daughter of a princess of a Byzantine Empire. Okay. Let's keep swaying, my spy master. <laughs> Thanks. To be honest, I also learned a lot of English through video games because, um, first of all, the very first video game I bought myself only had English voice. So, uh, um, the voice actors all talked in English, but it had German subtitles, so it helped a lot. Let's not murder him just yet. Okay. Padua. Let's get ready for the peasant uprising. Then, Diadora. Where is Diadora? That's over here. That's a county I haven't paid any attention to. In a long, long time. Anything that needs still building? Nope. Not really. Um, Bologna. Very famous for the spaghetti sauce. And Krosner. Oh, so that's basically what nowadays is Kosovo. Yeah, you two are basically from opposite ends of uh, the European continent. Okay, my vessels now like me more. Which should make things easier. Okay. Ultimatum in 11 months. Sorry, can you hear my nose? Because it's whistling a little bit from being congested. We'll see. I will keep the murder scheme going just to be sure if you white piece out. Count costas, you still don't have enough money. And you also have no money. Why does everyone that owes me money not have money? Nope. Oh cool. I've been invited invited to another grant, right? I can get a diplomacy perk. Cool, groom to rule. That's excellent. Let's gain some scheme power. So we can sway people easier. Okay, 84%. So you are actually losing your civil war. Oh. My wife has died. So 
So, let's find a new one. You're a foreign chief, so... Uh, my cousin. It will be incest. But she's infertile, so who cares? I only need her for the stats. Ren. Okay, random county, why not? You can finally pay up your debts. And you're still too poor to leave prison. Let's keep an eye on those two things once again. Whatever happens first. Can speed up a little bit more. If this reaches two months, I will have to raise my armies. He has another uprising. Oh. A new powerful vessel. But I don't really care. Well, it depends a little bit on what your relationship with your mother was. Kinda like in <laughs> real life. Which is very cynical, but it is true. I have a good relationship with my mother, but still. Okay, he wasn't swayed. So... Let's try to romance my wife. Now we can go back to the Byzantines. Mm, we need more learning. Also, one more month until the peasant rebel. Thanks for that. Where did I put my bottle? Where is it? Uh, let me quickly look for it. I'll be right back. I have no idea where I put it. Got it, it was on a table of my living room. Thanks for reminding me. I would have forgotten it. <sighs> Sorry that took a little bit longer. And also my mouse escaped. My sister died from a seizure. Let's raise our armies.
Okay, she is generous, callous, and temperate. Let's tell her she's beautiful. Another feast. Oh, I can't sell minor titles since I'm at a feast. You guys can help out here. You will join in this battle. Cost us finally wealthy enough. Uh, let's be friendly once more. Yes, finally, claim on phrase. Uh, what do you mean, the direct ones? Do you mean the uh, channel points redeems, or...? Okay, you shall die soon. Meanwhile, what do I want next? Probably Jerusalem. so much. Um, okay. Don't know how to take on that favor, but... Okay. Okay, uh, 20,000. So that was just a coincidence. That it was exactly 20,000 and not. Um, like a soft limit to how much gold you can get. Uh, let's do the browse challenge. Doesn't matter. And I have discovered false shoes. More speed. Burrs are next. For better military buildings. And finally, let's kill him. And realize my claim on phrase. Finally, something useful. Take the most important duchy for our goal. And what's the most direct way? I think if we go around here. So let's raise the armies. Could call on an ally, but I don't need to. Um, okay, let's wait a little bit and see which of these armies has with siege engines. Come on, which which one has the siege engines? This one has some. And where are the other 80? Here they are.
these will go here. And you will also go here. And finally, a really important wall once again. After we we only did some peanuts. Now we will actually take Constantinople from the Byzantines. Okay, Thessaloniki armies. They don't really matter. Oh, is it winter? Yep, it's winter. He's a witch. Oh, I should split up those armies. Uh, where should I send you? What about over here? And you will go here. And speed up once again. Let's not do anything of those things. They are all bad. Option C, none of the above. We will get a huge malice from um, not conquering phrase soon enough. I have your father. But you can't pay for his ransom. And he has been blinded by the Emperor. Bad, bad Emperor. Okay, here we have a live viewing of the Civil War. A marshal. That's actually not a big problem. I'm not sure how you got a hook on me. But hey. You're actually a decent marshal, so... I shall keep you. Liberty faction. No, it doesn't matter, I'll just lower crown authority. Granddaughter was captured. By the way, talking about. Sorry, I muted just in time for a sneeze. Let's look if I have great grandchildren. I do. And it's another Remos. And three great grandsons. That will be a headache in the future. comes the Byzantine army. Let's retreat for a bit.
coming in for my love. Ooh. Bologna has encouraged development. Thank you so much, dear wife. Now. Okay, you guys actually don't need to counter attack. Okay, uh, yeah, war. He's interested in war. After all, he's my marshal. Oh, we can build new stuff here. Okay, store lands. And... Okay, store lands. And more pastoral lands. And for a change, pastoral lands. And you are already... You have already built Pissarro Lands. Excellent. Yay, he gained 10 opinion of me. That's good. I've managed to do some captures. This front is clear. Let's take a look at Siena. Yes, finally. Okay, two more years. And Siena will be able to build a university. Pavlos. And Dionysos, where are you? That's all the prisoners once again. Might not even reach Constantinople to conquer it. Which is kinda weird, but. Okay, um. Do I have a supply expert? It's a shame that I don't have one. Red, please. That's good. I can sell, send an ultimatum at any time. Civil War. How is it going? Are well, you actually getting some stuff back? Uh, yeah, on the 6th of January. And usually it was tradition that uh, children come and uh, sing songs about them in every house that registered for it. But due to COVID, uh, that's cancelled and 
uh, we just do a small donation and get the house blessings. Yeah, uh, the three wise men and hello, Krona. The three wise men that visited Jesus in the uh, what's it called in English? In the shed? What's the name for it? I mean, it's mostly Catholic, isn't it? Manga. Or Manja. Is it a soft or a hard G? I don't know. Also, hello, Kobler. Welcome. Many so far island people. Good to see you join in the conversation. Is it manger? Hey, broke man. Ah, okay. So like ranger, but with an M. Good to know. Now, this is an issue. Okay, let's leave about 2,000 levies here and the siege engines. And give them the siege master. And you will move here and then break up into several units so you can regain your supplies. Because this is currently a supply nightmare. Okay, 2300. You can supply 3,000 people. How many here? 4,000. So, if I split you, you can go here. What about here? Also, uh, let's actually send this unit there. About here. Nope, I need to split again. You go here. You go here. How many here? Oh, this is a nightmare. Always those logistics. You go here. And then I will split you guys up once again. And send one of the units here. And finally, this. Okay, this should solve the supply problems. Ugh. Ugly. Okay. When you are resupplied somewhat, I will send you to the next siege. Because I am losing war score by the minute. Ok, 
Okay. Need for speed. He is finally in the positives. For opinion score. Man, I made the Byzantine Emperor quite the mess. I control Rodopis now. Let's go for Zengfia next. Oh wait, who controls all this? Ah, that's the Duke. Oh, Palestine. Thank you so much, my dear Patriarch. Still no uprising in the Liberty Faction. Sorry for my nose. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Ah, uh, why? Damn it. Stupid AI. Had absolutely no reason to attack those guys, and yet you did. Can you go this way instead? So you can resupply and regroup a little bit. Uh, okay. This is the map. West Europe is kinda stable with an Hispanian Empire. Though it is under the Moors or Andalusians. France is still split up basically into the kingdoms. England is a mess while Scotland united, most of Ireland united. Sweden has finally formed, that's also new. Also Savo, never heard of that kingdom. But apparently it's within Finland. Several kingdoms in North Russia. Estonia has formed. Denmark has still a lot of Northern Germany, but Sweden is taking. Prussia has formed, which is also new. Volpe has some issues. Which, good riddance, I have to say. That kingdom is a fawn in my sight. Hungary is pretty stable, but... Oh, Hungary became Catholic. That's also very new. It was Taltoist the whole time. Uh, Central and Eastern Europe is still a huge mess. Volga Bulgaria has finally formed. The steppes are kinda stable, which is surprising. Um... The Himalayans are a mess. India is okay. The Middle East is surprisingly split up. But Egypt is pretty strong. And they are actually pretty big African kingdoms. So we do have a quite developed Africa this game. Okay, you are taking your time. Okay, liberty demands. I will give in.
Okay, I will soon be in phrase finally. And with my high tech, relatively high tech siege engines. My conquest is considerable. Hmm. Interesting. Let's keep going. And finally take this barony and remove that 28% Warsker Malice. Yep. My gold is still the same. And another suture perk. Here we go. Honor to surf. Finally, the malice is removed. Take a look at the clock. Oh, I can still go a little bit. Um, yeah, sure. I don't need the prestige. Let's use it for something valuable. With somewhat. When can I change back? At the turn of century, roughly. Okay, my health is still fine. How are you fighting the Kingdom of Savo? That's weird. Okay, that's a city. That's the barony I want. One ransom, one imprisonment. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. And I will ransom you right away. That was maybe not the smartest idea, but I really want to finish this war as quickly as possible. Again. My health is still fine.
Yeah, but the problem is uh, Fort level 12 That will take forever. I think taking this county should be enough to end it completely. Maybe one more, or maybe I will just attack the Byzantine army from a war score. It isn't partial, this is its own county. Okay, that worked. Also, Constantinople is now mine. Okay, let's give you a county. Which one? How about... Diadora? Yep, and also because Constantinople is quite huge. Um, these all look good. I will actually make it my capital. Then I can found a university. And I will make Constantinople Roman. Next. Siena. University, please. Finally. Okay, I will wait until my troops are back on track. I can increase the farm and farms and fields in Padua to increase the development growth. Excuse me. Oh, I have too many duchies. Let's see if I can give my son one. Could give him the Duchy of Phrase. Let's instead give my grandson a Duchy. But which one? Let's give him one where I don't have any Counties. Okay, that fixed it. And Constantinople is finally mine. Next, I could take Palestine. By the way, I think I messed up because you are not claiming anything. I want Alexandria, please. Also, where is the new Byzantine capital? All the way over here. I would like to murder you. Bribe a few people. Yeah, to Jerusalem, finally. As soon as my troops have recovered from taking Constantinople without taking Constantinople. Okay, that's at 95%. Yes, I do want to take back the Holy Land. Okay, 
But still, let's wait until my troops are at 100%. Oh, also... How the hell... Oh, come on. How did you become a claimant? Why do you want to press that? You are an asshole. God damn it. If you do that, I will pay all my gold to you. get some mercenaries to beat you down. Can send an ultimatum in seven months. But what if I siege you down first? Not a good idea, my friend. Oh, wait. How long do I have to keep you? Till the turn of the century. Yeah. Okay, we will take care of this claim infection. I will show them that it is not a good idea. To claim my throne. Raise all armies. And let's do it with one month left. Since I now know how long it'll take. Let's blackmail him for some money. My entire realm is against me. You will regret that, my son. Oof. It will respawn at some point. Are you part of this faction? Well... Even with 
90. Okay, let's do it this way. Increase my intrigue. And let's not risk it. You will be imprisoned anyway. Pretty soon. That does tend to happen. Okay, we will do this civil war when I will look into it if I want to continue playing. God damn it, my court physician became ill. has high learning in my court this night congratulations you are now my Court physician. Stupid claim infection. Position. Uh, no problem. Um, let me try to translate. Would you recommend this game? Is that right? Um, I mean, I can recommend many games, but uh, you'd have to be a little bit more specific Okay, who is the war leader? Benevento Then let's take on Benevento first Who to sway next? How about my patriarch? Even though he might die. And a smallpox outbreak at the same time. Yep, because my son for some reason decided to become a claimant. 
But that happens every few hundred years. Let's not mess with that right now. Maybe I will capture the war leader. Now I will defend myself. Enemies. Okay, where to go next? Let's land over here. Just endorses me, but he could endorse me more. <laughs> Pretty much. And okay, that was my old. Actually, land here. And then raise some mercenaries.
because now I mean business. the largest army this world has ever seen. Oops. I messed up with the recently disembarked. Scholarship. I mean, that is something I tend to do a lot in this game, so... The armies are still larger than mine. Also, I really messed up here. Uh, that was incredibly stupid that I forgot about the disembarkment. Now I have it for the entire battle. Oh, I hope they <laughs> just... They just execute him. And a smallpox outbreak. <laughs> oh god. This is just... Only awfulness. With no end in sight. <laughs> exactly. How did my... Oh god. I have so much bad luck in this game. Look at that, my commander died right away. Now I have no commander. Well, that was completely and utterly stupid.
Oh man. My commander died in battle at the first second of a battle. Um, I got uh, two bottles of meat, um, an external hard drive, uh, some books, um, some uh, beard um, care stuff. And I think that was mostly it. Okay. This will actually have to... How long? Six months. But I have to do it because otherwise my people won't regroup properly so let's go here let's actually regroup in Rome that was a mess up combined with incredibly bad luck Like, bad luck beyond belief. Your commander dying in the first phase of battle is the worst that can happen. Ah, uh. come on. Okay. Thing is, I will be able to regroup, but they won't. At least that's behind us. But weird that they get war score for capturing the very person they want to install on a throne. Damn it! Not you too, peasant rebel in Siena, Viterbo, Napoli, Genoa. Ugh. For fuck's sake. Everything always at the same time.
looks like Let's get another learning perk. Don't block. Important information with pop-ups. Please, game. Haven't you been awful enough to me today? Okay. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Not interested in whatever we're talking about. Okay. Good. We have everything here. Okay, we're definitely winning this crucial battle here. is very important. Why are we losing so many units? How are they doing so much damage? Yep, very complicated. I'm not actually... I have no idea how they do so much damage to my units. They have almost no men at arms. Compared to me. And yet they extremely out damage me. Okay, at least... That is clear now. Eighteen knights versus Several thousand people should not do that much damage. Especially with so many men at arms that I have. It really shouldn't work like that. That's completely and utter nonsense. Don't have any men at arms and still out damage me just because we have more knights. That is 
such BS, to be honest. That really, really shouldn't work. Uh, hardly. Okay, let's regroup once more. are regrouped. Let's try again. Why are you going... Okay, let's siege instead. again. What's with those loading times? Finally, yep, it's an Iron Man mode. Also, my, uh, the sun that would take the throne if they win is my knight, so if he dies in battle, the war gets invalidated. Now this is how I imagined it would look. down some cities.
Yep. Um, this is basically complete vanilla Iron Man gameplay. The only thing is that I made a custom character to start with. Give me a slight edge uh, while only being a count at the beginning of the game. And also to ro roleplay the whole Roman thing more. Okay, scholarly circles. Change back to this commander. Also, why is it always a river crossing? Banking, excellent. Next is urbanization. is quite the pickle we are in. Okay. You will just stay here. Take on the next. Okay, another counselor died. Turntables.
now I can pick off the army since they have completely spread everywhere around. change your feudal contract. Yep, I can. So, you will owe me a favor. I will lead the troops myself, because if I die, the war ends as well. Okay. Ah. Lots of things happening at once, once again. And that's another death. For my enemy. Time for more war. Let's go back to a supplies expert. If I have one. Yep, here he is.
Actually, okay. How are we gonna do this? Let's take Rajina. And then I will... Disband my troops. And regroup once again. Never mind. I will just disband my troops. And then regroup. Over here. Okay, good night, Alec. I'm not sure how much longer I will do this. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Hopefully. Alright. Regroup. And go here. How's my health doing? Still fine at 71. War score is nice now. And no one is trying to retake the capital. Which is very good for me. Let's speed all of this, this up again. Well, well, well. How the turntables. War might actually get invalidated. Because my son is dying. Now it looks galoo. Alright, thanks for watching Brokeman. See you soon. We'll reorganize all this and then I will enter stream. You, my friend, are in trouble now. I will take away the Duchy of Corsica from you. Duchy, but which one? Not Freys. So I instead will give him Corsica.
and I will give his son could I give you? How about something over here? For example, this. Okay. Now, let's order some construction. here and next let's increase the development in Napoli okay now this all is done that was quite something I didn't expect it to get this stressful in the end but we reunited Italy, we took Constantinople, we ended a rebellion, and we are ready to take Palestine next. So, the crusade that's not really a crusade will be next time. Thank you everyone so much for watching.